Hello, my name is Morrison. Um, I've put uh, a few videos up before, but I've actually been, um, I'll keep that in the picture at the moment. I've actually uh, had a bit of illness, so I haven't been able to do any, but a year ago I did a video which uh, was just trying to help pe people with short hands like mine uh, to be able to cope with um, do it, doing the guitar and, um, well, um, playing the guitar. I just had to move a bit out of the shot at the, back, the background. Shows you how amateurish my videos are. Um, but I did a video and I got something like 270 odd thousand people hits. And um, it was all down to, I didn't realise there's so many people in the world that had uh, short fingers or small hands like me. So I'm just going to do a very short video today to um, try and give a bit of encouragement to those amongst you have got short fingers or small hands and um, this this picture here, I'll move it out is basically that the front one is a is a photocopy of my hand and I've overlaid it over a, a larger uh, a person with larger hands who plays a guitar who would find it much easier and if you look at that picture the tip of the middle finger to the wrist is about 10 inches well uh, Jimi Hendrix is supposed to have had uh, ten and a half inches between the tip of his finger and his wrist. That's a heck of a lot more than me. <laughs> it's not quite a, a twice, but it's getting on that way. Anyway, if you've got short hands, this video, or short fingers, I keep saying hands, if you've got small hands or short fingers, this video is just for a bit of encouragement. I'm not going to have a great deal in it. Uh, I'll move that out now. I'm not going to have a great deal in it today. I'm just going to do a very short sort of a uh, bit of a talk on it, but I, I played a song there. Um, this song now, I, I particularly played this with a caper on there. And the main chord I really want to talk to you about today is an A chord, the chord of A major. If, um, and that's just one of the many that if you've got short fingers, it, it becomes quite difficult. Uh, if you if you play an A in an open in the open position, which is the second, third, and fourth strings in the second fret, that's the A chord. But that's fine when you play it down there. But because I'm sh I'm short armed, you know, I'm a small guy. I've got very short arms, and also when you get old like me, and I'm 77, you are, you can't. You, that's either too low, you can't sing usually in the key that the song's written in. So you have to transpose it. So one way is to move the same position with fingers further up the guitar. And I did it, I think I was in the fifth fret. And I put that on there. Now, so now, so it starts, it's in D. So if I put the cape on there. Played it in that. Now, the thing about this is that <clears throat> the minute you move, you have to use a capo. If you've got long fingers, it's great. But if you've got short fingers, you'll find <coughs> excuse me, you'll find it extremely difficult to to reach A to be able to twist your wrist round enough to get three fingers in that position without hitting the I mean, capo. So you need either a very very low capo, which is I've never found one as low as I like, or it becomes quite difficult to play the A is only one of many, but I'm just using that. Um, if you if you try try and play that, um, this caper gets in the way. So another way around it is like um, if you if you're short and small fingers, small hands, you can't always reach the chords that everybody else can that has got longer fingers. So you have to find ways of adapting it or finding another way to do it. And uh, there are quite a few different ways and it really makes you focus your mind, but you can do it, it's possible. Um, for instance, A, the, the now that, that A there can be played, that same A can be played using different fingers. And in all this, probably five or six different positions. And the next video I do after Christmas uh, I'll, I'll show you those positions and, and there's obviously 
uh, there's obviously other like bar chord right? that's with the bar chord so I just want to give you a bit of encouragement today and hopefully if my health continues and I'm okay I'll be doing a, some more videos after Christmas to try and help those of you like me who suffer because they haven't got they you know, like to have longer fingers now one of the things I would say to you is uh, I'm not trying to be horrible to anybody else but there's quite a number of guitars I'm going to put this down now well, I'll just hold on to it there's quite a number of guitarists on YouTube with wonderfully long fingers maybe not quite as 10 inch, 10 and a half inches like Jimi Hendrix but even uh, going between his fingers and mine you've still got good sized fingers uh, but there's a lot of them that seem to be uploading videos on how to play guitar if you've got small hands well I'm going to tell you because you can see how small I am there's very few of them that actually can understand the, the problem and very few of them can actually tell you how to overcome it and in, a, in my opinion a lot of them are talking out a part of their anatomy that wasn't made for talking out of so take with a pinch of salt because I know that in my previous video several people sent me messages saying that actually long fingered guitar is trying to tutor them and put them off the guitar because I, I remember tutor years and years ago and I've been playing for a long time but I'm not, it's on and off and I've you know I'm not a good guitarist but I can play the guitar and sing and um, there's a lot of wonderful guitarists but they have an advantage over you and I because they can reach notes that you or I can't but they somehow seem to think that it's all in the mind you just stretch your fingers well it isn't like that at all and um, so I've had to adapt things and learn ways around the problem but I've been determined to learn it somebody said to me take up the ukulele well I don't want to take up the ukulele no more than I want to take up the drums or any other musical instrument I fell in love with the guitar because I was around in my late teens when the Beatles and all the big pop stars hit the hit the scenes and it just you know, I've got to play the guitar and that was it and I was hooked and always have been so um, don't give up keep trying to concentrate don't give your guitar up you don't need to you just have to be a bit determined and persevere and say I'm going to beat this why should I let people who are born much more adapted to the guitar be, be, be able to do something that I can't so I'm going to do it so try, try and do that um, and um, I will come back to after Christmas and I hope this will give you something but just if you know if, if I show you this picture again just look at the difference between my hand and that one at the back and I can tell you that I have done on at other times uh, uh, the distance between my 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 little finger here uh, if you put an AA battery in there it's slightly longer than my little finger so you can tell how small my hands are so there aren't many of you out there that are as short as mine I know three I think I had out of that 270 so I, I would try and be more organised I'm not very good at making videos because I if I can only stop them and, and edit them, I can't do that. I haven't got the knowledge or the equipment. So this is a very basic video, but I hope it can, you know, it's good enough for just passing in a few tips. So I'm going to say to you all, I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas. And have a lovely time, and I'll try and put some more videos up more regularly uh, after Christmas. And, well... You know, Christmas is a fantastic time because it brings families together. Mind you, it's not being helped by this terrible COVID, but it brings families together and even people that haven't spoken to each other for the whole year suddenly can find the goodwill to speak to each other and maybe go and have a pint down a pub if they can. But just think about all that wonderful peace and all that love in the world and just remember just on um, my advice just remember what we're actually celebrating and whose birthday it really is and all I can say to you is have a lovely lovely Christmas for your family if you can God bless and cheerio
Hadi bakalım.